Hello, today we want to talk very, very important in programming language. It's called a function. Function can help us to uh, create the software module that can be reused very effectively. Function can reduce the, your code size and increase your readability in coding. So let's look at last time we had a code progression Right? We use a dice to change the rhythm, right? And uh, let's look at uh, that code. Uh, I already used a comment uh, to remark it. So you, you probably still remember, this is uh, our C chord. Okay, if the dice uh, result is one, they will have a, a regular four bit. Okay, Let's, if the dice is two, uh, they have a one and two and three and four and a different reason. If the dice is the three, they have an arpeggio playing, right? And actually, uh, the code will move to the another uh, chord, which is the G, G3, okay? And then, exactly the same, A3 minor, and then exactly the same F3 major. Okay, so because the, the chord is uh, C, G, A, and F. But you may find this coding uh, very, very lengthy. The, the code length is pretty, pretty long. Uh, it is the pretty straightforward way to write a coding. So how can we improve it? Okay, the key is to use the function. We need to analyze the, the pattern. Okay, to find out something is actually uh, unchanged and, and we extract it and to define the function. Okay, so you can see, okay, this part is something that totally exactly only the core name and the core type or maybe uh, some interesting uh, dice result you want to uh, determine how your uh, function behave. So I rewrite this code as this. Uh, you can see me use the function. I rerun it. Uh, this function is called my code. And uh, use the very important command define function name. Do. This three is the we call the parameters. Okay. And uh, because the first parameter is the core value, if it's a C core, I hope this is a, a C. Uh, 3 or C4, the type determining the major or minor, and which one determining the dice result. Okay, so you can see the almost uh, the, the content of the, the function, uh, almost like the, the previous one. They just abstract uh, the previous uh, logic, redefine it. Okay, so uh, and this is the pretty much the function idea, okay? So very, very important the abstraction uh, way to look at something redundant. So once you finish the definition, uh, what you really take action is the call the function. So this is the main program here. Actually, it is the live loop, okay, name chord. But this time, I don't use the dice, I just call my function, remember my function then is my chord. It requires three parameters. The first is the root, which is the core name. And the second is the core type. The third is the what kind of reason I want it to play. Okay, so you can see uh, how uh, concise the code uh, will become, right? Because of the function, the code will first play the C4, uh, C4 major, the G3 major, using uh, second type of reason, and then the A3 minor, and the third type of reason, and then go to the F3 major. Okay, let's listen to the sound. Indeed, the second is the uh, this kind of reason, right? So you can see the result is 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 what we expect. 
-hmm. Okay, now if I change something, for example, I change my my code sequence because this is what uh, live loop actually very very useful. For example, I change my C A3 become the first. Uh, in the previous of the G3 and I change the F okay I rerun my program I change my code progression already I can change my reason. Everything I want to use the third. It looks like this. It's very very easy to to reuse the core because the logic become much much more clear and you will find your bugs programming bugs will reduce great uh, gradually if you use the function very uh, in a good way okay so this is the basics of how to use function uh, first to identify what kind of the part you need to uh, abstract okay to become a function, define it, set up some parameter, and uh, uh, just uh, call your function to, to, to see what happened. Okay, so that's the first part of the function. And then uh, I want to also uh, here to talk about list because the list is something we haven't actually talked about, even though we probably use uh, uh, is in our coding, okay? So what is this? Uh, please look at this individual code. Uh, here are three uh, command, play, c4, e4, g4, and it looks like a, a user bracket, okay? Put the three node together, okay? Three element. And then I play, uh, I try to retrieve the index from the zero, which means I want to play this C4. Okay, so let's, let's listen. Because the C4 is Do, uh, Do, Mi, So. So you can see the second line actually uh, get access to the, the second element. Uh, index 2 is actually get access to the third element. Okay, and you may be finding that uh, uh, in programming language, okay, the first element will begin with the index 0. Uh, we need to be careful about this because the, a lot of beginners, they confuse. They, they think, oh, this is the first one, second one, and the third one. No, uh, in programming language, most of the language, they begin with the index 0. Okay, so be careful to do that. And so we can use this to store something they, uh, they have the same data type, can be a string, can be a core name, can be the melody element, uh, whatever you want to store, you can use the list to preserve it, okay? So that's the basic idea in, uh, in list. Actually, uh, if you declare uh, in our previous coding, you may find this, it looks like the list. We already use that because we use the list to store the delay uh, beat. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I want to reload uh, my another program, which I did a little bit improvement by using function, an uh, upgrade version of the function. Okay, and you see this code uh, still using function my code, but. Now this time I use the two parameters only. The one is called degree, another one is called which one. Okay. The idea is the same, but uh, you can see me uh, already use the uh, two list here. Okay. Let me explain to you. 
Uh, this list is called a core list. The first element is the C4, D3, E, F, G, A, B. Hmm. It looks like a scale, right? And the second we call a type list. It's a major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. You probably noticed what I'm talking about. You probably can guess. I want to use your knowledge of the music theory we, we describe in the chapter 3. I remember chapter 3, right? We talk about the scale, build upon the scale, major scale. Particularly, we can build upon the triad. Each degree has a, a triad type, right? The first degree is the uh, C major chord. Uh, the second degree is the uh, uh, D minor. So I kind of the construct this because this is actually how uh, music work. If you use, if you can uh, uh, define this, okay. So and see how how do I use it? Now I change my main program uh, in this way. I call my core this function four times. The first one I call it use a six, which means I want to use a six degree chord to play first rhythm. The second, I use a third degree chord. Okay. Uh, now I want to change it a little bit. I want to first one, I want to use a five, I want to use a six, I want to use a four. What do I mean by that? Just listen. Hmm. If I change, what about four, six, five? And I change the reason type, three, two, First chord, F chord, six chord, A minor, five chord, G chord. So now my logic thinking is using the chord degree to to play around my uh, my chord progression. Okay, so if you want to use uh, your minor chord progression, okay, uh, six, four. Uh, six four one five. Six four one five is very typical. Uh, let's let me try two 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 two. A lot of a lot of minor key use this chord progression. You can immediately turn your happy song into the minor song, okay? So, uh, I just demonstrate that there are tons of the ways, millions of ways to define your own function, okay? Some people may use a lot of parameter, okay? I just show you one of the possible ways you can improve your function. Uh, if you do it right, you will find that, okay, you are really, really can uh, control uh, the clarity of your uh, program. Okay, and programming can be very, very fun. Can be uh, have a lot of reward. You, get, you can build upon your own confidence by thinking uh, logically, and also combine your uh, knowledge of the music theory into your uh, own music creation. Okay. That's it. I just want to demonstrate uh, the beauty of the function. It is really the core element in our programming spirit. Okay, if you can use that, you already can reuse something very valuable things. Okay, enjoy your function programming. We'll see you in the next chapter. Bye bye.